Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Coda and I'm Miranda's dog. I'm going to be bringing you a report about medical marijuana and the newest law in Texas surrounding it. There have been many studies, human and animal, <gasps> discovering the risks and benefits of using marijuana to treat certain medical conditions. According to Har Harvard Health Publishing, the most common use of medical marijuana is for chronic pain control. It's been proven to be much safer to use than opiates or narcotics to control the pain. Marijuana also has been reported to be a fantastic muscle relaxant. Studies have shown that it, is the, it has the ability to decrease tremors in Parkinson's disease. Marijuana is also used to manage nausea, weight loss, and can be used to treat glaucoma. Another area that's being researched currently is its use in treating PTSD in veterans. Marijuana also helps manage symptoms associated with HIV, irritable bowel syndrome, and Crohn's disease. As far as adverse effects of using medical marijuana, research is still being done. There are reasons to suspect that cannabinoids may pose a risk to, de the, to a developing fetus. The chemicals proven to cross the blood-brain barrier and can accumulate in the fetal service, central nervous system. So far, that is the only adverse effect that is proven. Many people in America are very grumpy about the issue of legalizing marijuana in the United States. They ask me all the time, is it safe? Should it be legal? Decriminalized? Has its effectiveness been proven? Is it useful? Is it addictive? How do we keep it out of the hands of teenagers? Is medical marijuana a ploy to legalize marijuana in general? These are all very excellent questions. That is why it's an important issue and why more research should be done. Now, I want to talk to you guys about what's going on in Texas concerning this important issue. Recently, Greg Abbott, our governor, signed a law into effect which legalizes the sale of a very specific kind of cannabis oil. This law is called the Texas Compassionate Use Act. The law was enacted by Texas legislature in 2015. However, the first person to put this law into action was just only a month ago on February 1st, 2018. So, what in the doggy dog world is this Texas Compassionate Use Act? This act required the Department of Public Safety to create secure registry of physicians who treat epilepsy for the purpose of prescribing low THC cannabis to patients who have been diagnosed with intractable epilepsy. In addition, this bill requires the Department of Public Safety to license at least three dispensing organizations by September 1st of last year. They are allowed to be licensed as long as they meet the requirements. The license authorizes the organizations to cultivate, process, and dispense low THC cannabis to prescribed patients. As of December 15th of last year, the department has issued three dispensing organization licenses. They are called Cansortium Texas, Compassionate Cultivation, and Sir Terra Texas. Just to break it down, THC stands for tetrahydrocannabinol, and it is the chemical compound in cannabis that's responsible for a euphoric high. Therefore, the kind of THC that the Texas Compassionate Use Act is allowing Texans to use for medicine is a very low THC cannabis oil. Specifically, no more than 0.5% tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC. Most strains of marijuana that you think of when you think of the green plant contain 9% to 30% THC. Also, this law is only allowing the sale of extracts and oils. Texas is not allowing selling of the straight plant. And 
the law states that the only approved use for this oil is for epilepsy. So, who was the first person to use this type of medication? She's a six-year-old girl who loves to play and she loves to give puppies snuggles. Also, she struggles with severe epilepsy. She was the very first person in the state of Texas to use medical marijuana legally. We don't know her name because her family wants to have her privacy protected, which is very, very understandable. Roughly 160,000 Texas, 160,000 Texans have intractable epilepsy, less than 1% of the state's total population. To qualify for this medicine, Texans must have tried two FDA approved drugs and have found them to be ineffective. They also must be a permanent resident of Texas and they have to get approval from two doctors listed on the Compassionate Use Registry of Texas. Though the list is growing, fewer than 20 doctors are currently registered to pre prescribe this cannabis oil. So why does all of this matter? Because as many of you know, 29 states, the District of Columbia, Guam, and Puerto Rico now allow for comprehensive public medical marijuana and cannabis use programs. What that means is that 29 of 50 states in America have legalized the use of marijuana, whether for medical purposes or recreational purposes. Approved efforts in 17 states, now including Texas, allow use of this low THC cannabidol products for the medical reasons in the limited situations. Thanks for listening to the doggy update about this medication in Texas. I hope you are all very well informed and bork bork! <laughs>